All right, I'm here. I'm here. Hello, everybody. Hello, welcome to a live plan with me. Uh, I had to wait for a hot minute because the litter robot was cycling and I didn't want you guys to uh, to have to hear that right as I start. Yeah, but you're really embarrassed by I'm not robot. embarrassed by my litter robot, but it is random background noise. Um, let me know if you can hear me, if everything's looking okay in the, uh, in the, the thing, the thing where you are, the comments, the videos, the vid whatever. I'd also like to take a second before we get started and say three things. First, um, if you are in Australia or adjacent to Australia, I hope you're safe. I hope you are breathing okay. I hope that your family is safe and I hope that you are doing okay with all of the smoke. I know what it feels like to live in a place that is blanketed with smoke because of fires, although the Australia fires are so much worse than the California ones were. So if you are there or if you know people that are there, I hope everybody is safe and okay. Uh, secondly, um, secondly, uh, if you are stressed out about what is going on in the Middle East, you are not alone. I am also stressed out. I'm not gonna be talking about it today because I would rather focus on something else, but just to let you know that if you are stressed out because of it, that I empathize with you because I am also right there with you and you're not alone in that. All right, I wanted to mention that right up front because I know that there are a lot of people who are, who are on a lot of edge right now for various reasons and I wanted to acknowledge that. Um, I'm looking to see, I saw somebody yeah, I hope you guys are doing okay, you know, as best as you can be. And then thirdly, this is not going to be a hot mess plan with me because I need to use my planner next week, but I will be planning. I'm just not going to be drinking or doing anything wacky. I'm going to be drinking ginger ale because that's what I have next to me right now. But Schweppes because they didn't have Canada Dry. I also put in my first grocery order, and we could talk about that. I've never, I haven't done delivery from groceries since Amazon Prime was available, and or Amazon delivery or whatever was available in Napa years and years ago. Just because I don't have time today. So, anyway, um, so I will let you know that I will be playing. I'll be answering questions. I'll be talking. I'll be me, but I'm not going to be doing anything ridiculous because I need my plan to work next week. So, just giving you setting expectations. This is not going to be a Cindy falls apart on screen plan with me. This is going to be a Cindy gets. Regular grumpy and frazzled on screen, which is plenty for anybody. Um, all right. That's everything I wanted to say. Okay. Do my kids go back to school tomorrow? No, my kids have another week off because in Napa, the kids have a three week long winter break. <laughs> is actually because we have a lot of migrant families in town and there are a lot of families who go to Mexico during December and they were missing lots of school and the schools don't get paid if kids are out of school. So their compromise was that they would take a week off of summer vacation and add it to the winter break and it did help the schools with their funding, but it makes for a really long winter break. <laughs> Can I guarantee I won't fall apart? No, Rebecca. As a matter of fact, I fall apart sober all the damn time. So... Um, no cat penis talk this week. That also happens when I'm not drunk. Most of the things that happen when I've been drinking happen when I'm sober as well. I'm just saying, ask my family. Um, all right. I do still need the gorb. Jess, would you get the gorb for me? Ah, <clears throat> all right. Every now and then I fall apart. <laughs> Jeff. Turn, Debbie, turn around, bright, Gorby, every now and then I fall. Where's my list? Part, okay. Anyway, let's get going. I got my list, and I got, um, what is the backstory of Gorby? I can explain that right off the bat. I'm going to be using this, by the way, the neutral Erin Condren. I've got the same washi. I've got some coordinating washies. I just love these colors. I don't love these colors, but I love these colors, and I want to use them. So, um, the, uh, I was forgetting them. Gorby, 
came out during a live plan with me where I was like doing some ridiculous shit. I think it was the one where I was trying to pull out all of the things that are like stereo, like they're like tropey stereotypical shit that people pull out, <laughs> pull out in their, uh, in their, um, plan with me videos. I still have no idea how I'm going to do this. I just realized that I have not done this enough to know what I'm doing. Oh my God. Okay. We'll start with these guys. I'll just put this along the bottom here. Um, I'm just gonna cover this whole thing up because I'm gonna try something a little bit different this week because I'm not using a full kit. Um, anyway, so Gorby came out then and it's just become, he's become a live plan with me staple. Basically, as I open up the nesting doll, we are going to more and more levels of, of ridiculousness. You know, Gorby is like the DEF CON number one. But then it goes from DEFCON Gorby to DEFCON Brushev all the way to DEFCON Lenin. So that's the thing. I'm going to cover this up right here. I don't know what I'm doing. You'll see it, Maddie. It'll happen. Just not in this one. It'll happen in one of the other ones this month. But today and next week, I had church meetings. And so... Sometimes I just want to hit the bottle after a church meeting, but today today is not that day. Cat just got home, and I'm trying a new. I was supposed to try the the crock pot crock. I can't even say it. Crock pot broccoli beef yesterday, but I wound up not. So I'm gonna do it today, which means as soon as I'm done with this plan with me, I have to get started on it, and I'm gonna need all of my faculties for that. I'm just saying. All right. Um. All right, where are we at? I want to do, I want to cover this bullshit up because that is just raw bullshittery right there. That is some garbage. This one, I'll cover you up with this one. Mindy, I... I haven't used these in a vertical and I always assumed it was going to be easier to use these stickers in a vertical because I feel like they were sized for the vertical. But now that I'm using the vertical, I wonder if that was the case. <laughs> <sighs> what brand whiteout do I use? It matches the paper. It's um, the Tombow uh, brand whiteout. Kat Decker actually got me onto it. The yellowy one, that I've, I found a yellowy one that I actually like using for bullet journaling because it usually matches like the kind of the cream tone of those papers. No, but this doesn't, now that's all off kilter. Hold on, one more time. And um, but that one I got from Daiso and so it wasn't exactly something that's easy to find. Generally speaking, Daiso is kind of like, kind of like Ross if you, you never know if you're going to be able to repurchase the thing that you bought there. So I can't guarantee that that's ever going to show up again. Now I'm probably going to put something else here. You can see the January peeking through and that's sort of bumming me out, but whatever, I'll deal with that later. And then I think I want to cover up the top here with these strips. No, that's not true. With this washi, or as my grandma would call it, washi. How long has it been since I've used a vertical Erin Condren? Well, I used it last week, but I was drunk when I was doing that. Um, before that, it's been like five years, at least. I think it was 2013 that I got a vertical Erin Condren, and then the next year I swapped to the horizontal because that was the first year they had it. I'm pretty sure that's what I did. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to washi tape right here. So it's been a while. Yeah, it was, Maddie. I think it was. I did the uh, Inkwell Press, and I did the, the hourly, but uh, the vertical itself, I used that through, like, 2014, and then I switched. Didn't I? It's been a long-ass time. I like this Neutral Kaleidoscope washi so much, and it actually kind of sticks. So a lot of Erin Condren washi has that weird papery feeling where it's all like, like stiff. <laughs> this one is not though. This washi tape is actually quite lovely. It is quite, quite, that's not what I want to do. This washi tape is quite like soft and like good washi feeling as opposed to feeling like, you know, raw papery bullshit. So I can just be happy 
with this one. How often am I this happy? Not very. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Even though it doesn't really match this other one. This is like more gray than blue, but whatever. We're gonna we're gonna work it. We're gonna work it, baby. Work it. Do I use the budget by paycheck workbook? I have the budget by paycheck workbook and we're supposed to It does it does kind of show through a little bit. Like I don't know if you can see that, but not enough to bug me. Um we haven't started using the budget by paycheck workbook, but we do plan on it. Or at least I do, and Jesse doesn't know he does yet. Well, I guess he does now because no, he has his headphones on. He might not know now. <laughs> All right. <sighs> um Okay, what else? What else do I want to cover up? Because I've covered up, so this down here would still be dinner and weather up here, but now I need somewhere for blood pressure and because I didn't, I need like a little checkbox thingy. But I don't like that. I used that this week and I'm not that big of a fan of it. I need a better idea. I need something better. Better. I don't know. Give me a second. I'm still thinking about it. Okay. Not like you guys are gonna stop me from thinking about it. I'm gonna use this peach for all the kids to mark plan as you go. Oh, hi, Mark. Plan as you go, week, month, week, month, month. It's the month, not the week. Holy shit. I'm still caffeinated from my meeting today. No, this peach does not look good on top of this sticker. It's a pretty color when it's on its own, but on top of the sticker, it looks like it has jaundice. I don't like that. No jaundice washi. No jaundice washi. That sounds like one word. I'll come back to you, blood pressure. We'll figure this out together. We'll figure this out together. I could draw a line at the bottom of the third. Oh, wait a minute. I have all of these stickers. And they match, sort of. How do they look? Are they big enough? What size are they? <gasps> yes! Yeah, that'll be for blood pressure. Then I can use some of these up. And that would be phenomenal to use some of these up. <sighs> I never use these up. This is like a watershed moment for me and my planner usage. <sighs> Nice, Andrea. Welcome. Welcome to the uh, jungle. We've got fun and games. I want a snack, but I don't want to ASMR you guys, but I want a snack. What time do I get up in the morning to start planning? Well, okay. So let me tell you guys in general, kind of how it's been going lately. Usually, okay. In the past, the way I have done it for other plan as you goes and just in general, uh, the way I have done it is that on days I work, so Mondays through Fridays on days where I'm like doing like a full work day, I wind up um, getting up when I get up like seven ish, seven thirty ish, and then getting ready, and then around eight thirty or nine, once I have like taken a shower and kids have gone to school and. Um, all of that shit. Um, then I will start my, I will start my, um, my planning for the day before I start my work day. But since the new year where I'm working on the morning routine and I have been, uh, not really getting up that much earlier, but the kids have been gone. So we'll see how this goes this week with the kids being here, but also being home. Like the kids don't have school this week. So it's interesting process. What I've been doing is getting, is that one of our cars? No, it's done. Never mind. Okay. 
Um, I had your headphones on. Oh, sorry, I heard beeping. It sounded like somebody's car alarm went off and I couldn't tell whose car it was. But I think it wasn't one of ours. So never mind. I'm sorry, go back to what you're doing. Um, anyway, so I have been waking up around seven-ish and getting up, doing a couple of morning routine things that I'll talk more about once I've kind of firmed them up. And then as soon as I'm done with that, I will start my planning. And my planning most days only takes me, like the planner itself, when I'm doing my power sheets, my Erin Condren, my bolt, the stuff I do in the videos, generally speaking, takes about 20 minutes. And that's because I'm talking. So on non-plan as you go days, generally daily planning only takes me about 15, 10 or 15 minutes. But because I'm talking through it when I'm doing plan as you go, it takes a little bit longer to account for the talking and my distraction when I talk. So, so then, and then once I've done that, then I will get in, actually what I've been doing is weird for me is going to the gym and then coming home and getting in the shower. So that's been my, my current situation. Okay, so the way I'm gonna do this is that, I think these guys will be my dinners and these little guys will be my blood pressure. And to do that, I'm gonna white out these little, okay, will this white out without covering up the, it's too skinny. I mean, I could leave them. They match this whole situation, but I don't want to. How has my morning pain been since you started your new routine? Um, it's been no worse than usual. It's still shitty, but like, but it's funny. Like I was saying this, I think in the, the book club live stream yesterday that I, was pleasantly surprised by the fact that even though when I went to the gym before, if I went in the evening, it made everything worse at night, but going in the morning actually is okay. So I've only been like walking. I've been very low impact. And if I do anything besides walking, it's probably going to be um, swimming right now. So both of those are low impact. So they shouldn't mess me up too badly. Oh my God. If you don't mind me asking, what exactly is... PKD, um, polycystic kidney disease. It is a genetic kidney disease where your kidneys fill up with cysts and get really big and it sucks. <laughs> my dad had it and my grandma had it and her mom had it and that's as far as I know about it. And um, my sister and I both have it. And if you look it up on the uh, internet, just be careful if you have a weak stomach because the pictures of the cystic kidneys are not the most, um, I was gonna say not the most flavorful, but they're actually pretty flavorful. It's just not a very delicious flavor. Okay, I'm gonna put my weather in now. I don't know if I ever plan on changing doing the little doodly weather. Doing the doodly weather is one of my most favorite things I do in my planner. It's nice to see what the weather's going to be. I'll zoom you in a little bit. It's nice to see what the weather's going to be, but it's just the lighting. I'm not tan. <laughs> um, and maybe the sweater. The sweater's probably helping too. Um, it's nice to see what the weather's going to be, you know, especially if it's going to like rain or something. It's California. It does rain every once in a while. But on top of that, I just love doing it. There's something about writing the weather in at the beginning of the week that makes me think, okay, it's time to plan my week. Like, that's how I know routines, like a morning routine or whatever, could be so handy for me because the routine of writing my weather in, like, automatically puts me in the right mood for planning my week out. And so I know that I am susceptible to this kind of training. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. I'm a creature of habit, my dudes. Creature of habit. 36. Yeah. Okay, but I'm not going to put in the rest of the week because that won't be accurate. 
it is a beautiful day in the San Francisco Bay Area. I 10 out of 10 agree. We have the front door open and we are airing the house out, which is lovely. I'm sorry you have a migraine, Elizabeth. We have somebody new. Ollie? Question mark? Just glancing up. Where? I just thought I... Did I miss something? Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Oily. The Oily Ponderosa. Hi. Okay, I was like, what is going on here? Um, PCOS is not the same thing as PKD, but I actually learned a lot about it because I was curious when I was... When I was a new parent and I was looking for like other parents to get to know, like on, do you guys remember there was like baby center and then there was like mama drama boards. And I was on those back when Kat was a baby and I wanted to meet people and I met a bunch of Sacramento moms that way. And a lot of them would talk about having PCOS and as someone with PKD, I was like, oh, this is also a, cy a polycystic situation. I should learn about this. And I am so sorry for those of you who have PCOS from everything I've learned about it because that is not, does not sound like the business. And I, it, I empathize with you. Um, okay. Meals for the week. I did not plan through the end of the weekend. I have not done a monthly meal plan and you're going to see a video tomorrow as to my thoughts on meal planning right now. I kind of ranted. It's kind of a first world problems video, but I'm still going to post it because honestly, it's how I feel. No, I did plan for the end of the week. I lied. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. So tonight, tomorrow night, we're doing the arugula and pancetta because yes. I didn't wind up doing it this weekend, and so I still have the stuff for it. But I'm doing the broccoli beef tonight. So yay, arugula and pancetta. We all like this one. This is a family favorite. This might almost be a year from the day from when we first had it, too. Not Ooh, from the wow. day, but like from the general vicinity. We learned about it in Facebook January. Memories, Facebook memories. Instagram memories, if they do that. Now I have a new crock pot recipe I want to do for Taco Tuesday, which is just, you want to hear this, cilantro, lime, chicken, and the crock pot for tacos. Booyah. That sounds so bomb, doesn't it? Cilantro. And if you're ever interested in the uh, recipes I've been using... I have a Pinterest. It's linked. At least I think it's linked. I don't remember if I linked it or not. Did I not do a description? Oh, no. I need to do that. Edit video. Open oh, link in new tab. Better. Shut up, cat. No. You. Did you accidentally end your stream? No, I didn't end my stream, but I forgot to grab a description which dealt with all the shit in it. And I need to do that because I am a helpful helper and it has my disclaimer about my language. So I need that too. Um, <laughs> yeah, here, hold on, hold on. I'm editing video. the video. I'm putting the description in. <laughs> okay. There we go. Better watch Save. Your, better watch your fucking mouth, mom. Cat, take your fuckery elsewhere. <laughs> chicken. I can't fit tacos. It's going to be chicken tacos. That's a lot of words. Doesn't that sound good, though? I'm going to get queso fresco to put on You know on what it. you should do also? The what? cilantro lime chipotle rice. And do it all together. Just make it cilantro lime for days. Yeah. Uh, anyway. I'm on board. So there is a, um, my, in the description, which I just updated, my Pinterest is there and I collect all of the recipes that I, um, I collect all the recipes. Guys, I'm streaming and your talking is going to be in the background and this is inappropriate. It was also inappropriate during my hangout, but I was trying to be nice, but now I'm going to be mean. Gorby is judging you. And as a matter of fact, it's taking us to Defcon Brushev. He's also judging you. Uh-oh, not Brushev. Not Brushev. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> Don't talk shit where I can't hear it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, Wednesday. Shut up. <laughs> huh. I think that's going to be a t-shirt I think I'm going to if I ever make merch one of them is going to say don't talk shit where I can't hear it <laughs> <laughs> that's good <laughs> um, 
All right, so, and then on Wednesday I'm doing grilled cheese, but it's a new grilled cheese. Well, it's not new. I made it this weekend for lunch, but it's gonna be new for dinner. It's with brioche bread, ham, and cheddar, and God damn it, if it was not so good. Are you checking out dinners for the week? Or are you looking at the comments to see who loves you pretty baby? I mean, yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> cheetah. Oops. Okay. So then on Thursday, what do I got? Thursday, I'm going to make potato soup because it's going to be raining. Nom, nom, nom. But Jesse doesn't get me because he's lurking. That's not true. I'll give Jesse soup. He makes a happy little happy dance when I feed him. That's why I married him, because I think it's adorable. All right. Um, <laughs> I'm doing a whole month of, Pamela, it's once a week. A new recipe once a week, not every day. I'm not going to do 30 days of crock pot meals. That, that's way more crock pot meals than I want to do in any given month. Friday night, um, is, I'm putting forage. Jesse's going to be recording on Friday, right, Jess? Uh, no, Saturday is the first day, it looks like. Well, are you going to come with me to the, the movie then on Friday night? The homelessness uh, movie? Are you going to come with me to that then? Oh, it looks like I'm recording on Friday. Oh my God. So I put forage on Friday. Saturday, potentially, depending on when Jess, either he's going to go with me or I'm going by myself, but I'm going to put out because I'm supposed to potentially have dinner with my uncle that night because he'll be in town. Well, not in my town, but in a nearby town. <laughs> and then sad, Sunday, I'm going to do spaghetti. Spaghetti. Mom's spaghetti. Why are you guys talking shit where I can't hear you? I'm going to drop the cat on your head. <laughs> Which one? Yes. Oh my God, Rebecca. I'm glad you like them. Like, I don't clean the crock pot. If I'm cooking and the kids are home, they clean the crock pot. <laughs> ah, cat. Somebody threw in knees weak, knees weak arms are heavy when I said mom's spaghetti. They want to know how you are liking your, uh, the daily, the petite planners that you're using. Better than the other one. Better than the other one. It's the highest praise you can get from a teenager. <laughs> you say this as if you know many. I do. I was a teenager. All right. Nice, Rebecca. Okay, so there's my meal plan for the week. This is looking cute. Don't fuck with my time tracker. It's not on. You can fuck with it right now. But like, don't be like RJ, where he was like, you, the time tracker, I'm going to talk more about this in an upcoming video, but like it Bluetooth records on whatever thing is like looking up to your computer to like by the minute. And I was testing it and RJ comes up and is like, what does this thing do? What does this thing do? <laughs> oh, no. I'll talk more about that later. Though. I don't want to talk about that right now. So don't make me. Are just like a bunch of dumb I mean, files. my observation was that it looked like an eight-sided D&D die. And you <laughs> like roll it to see what you had to get done. All right, That's so here, I here's my meals for the week. My schmeals. Your sad meals? They're not sad. <laughs> You're going to say schmeals. Yeah, I didn't say sad meals. I said schmeals. Because they're going to be schmeary meals. Because they're going to be what? full of moisture. Most. They're going to be moist. Stop. Moist meals. Delete your channel. <laughs> Like shebacon. See? <laughs> I ordered some shebacon from, from Target. I got my first, I'm ordering Target like shipped delivery for the first time because I don't have time to go to the grocery store today and I decided to give it a try. Yeah, you're not going to have time until school starts back up and then you just make it a daily thing. Cat, why are you being such a hoe? Like, <laughs> <laughs> just the whole weekend with anime idiots. I'm too, I'm too tired. Too tired? Well, maybe you should take a schmap. Oh, you didn't do the thing RJ asked you to do. You're a terrible oh, sibling. Believe. And you're a terrible mom for not doing something RJ asked you to do at one point. RJ didn't ask me to do anything. I didn't. At one point in your life, you've done How? Why didn't. are you making assumptions? You know when you make assumptions, you make an ass out of you and me. Yeah. But mostly you. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Ow. Okay, get out of here. Go. I need you to do the thing I asked you to do. <laughs> <laughs> all right 
with that interlude being over, let's start planning. <laughs> okay, oh wait, I do want to run the washi tape for Plan As You Go Week. That was the other thing I wanted to do. Hey, Romy. Now they're all muttering. They're talking shit where I can't hear them. <laughs> I, I heard that, Jesse. <laughs> so let's talk shit on mom. <sighs> this is why I don't have to get drunk, you guys. Actually, this might be why I get drunk. Let's just be honest. Do you want some? No, I don't want any. I don't want to drink your nasty wine anyway. It's all like red and tannic. Ooh, what is it? You tell me. Is that Chardonnay? Sauvignon Blanc. Sauvignon Blanc? I don't no, want Pinot any. Pinot Grigio. I was wrong. Pinot Grigio. I don't want any. It's cool. I like, really don't want to drink right now. You're getting some. Oh my God. Peer pressure. Guys, don't let people do this to you. What's happening? Make good choices. Jesse's peer pressuring me. Low-key peer pressure. To drink alcohol. Low-key peer pressures me. So don't let people peer pressure you to drink alcohol when you're at parties. Make good choices. Low-key peer pressures peer me pressure to drink me. alcohol at parties. He does? That's a bad kitty. Bad, bad kitty. Your video froze on your stream. Oh no, my video froze. Or at least it's- I'm buffering. Oh, uh, is that just your- It might just be me. I don't know if I'm buffering. Tr tr Let's see here. Get it off the planner. Yeah, somebody saw the comment. Okay. <laughs> Rude, Jesse. He did put a cup of wine on my planner. Thank you, you guys. Thank you. I am buffering, I think. Am I buffering? I think it's- Oh no. Your comments are still coming in. I'm working on it. <laughs> yeah, like yeah just keep doing your stream. Only buffering on my end. Okay, good. Good. No buffering here. Thank you. Because my shit's buffering like for days. Oh, there's a fucking ring. There's a wine ring on my planner. This is new. Look at that. Look what you did. You should do that as a theme instead of oh my gosh, well, colored pencils nice. or crayons or tombos. You should do. Splash like red wine on it. Yeah. How about you guys all suck my balls? I didn't yeah. do anything. Yeah, RJ, you're my favorite child right now and my favorite husband. That's what? gross. I Ew, shouldn't have what? said that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah
we couldn't find a desk that RJ liked that would fit in the like limited amount of like wall space he has for it. So we looked online and we found a couple at Office Depot. We're going to see if we can find one for him to sit at, but otherwise we're just going to order it. We did, however, take a look at their closet systems and decided that we are not going with the Ikea closet system because it's flimsy. And so we're going to look at the Rubbermaid and the closet made ones because I've heard they're interchangeable with the expensive as fuck Alpha ones. And so we're going to look at those. And then um, also the stuff for the entertainment center. We took a look at that too. We didn't buy anything. A Velveeta cutting board? Kind of, yeah. <laughs> Just don't go on a Saturday, Tina. It would suck my balls. Okay. Planning time. Because this is where we're at. Look at this. It's beautiful. It's very neutral. Sort of. And I love it. Okay, I want to put one of those... Um, those... Shit. I thought I pulled all of the stickers I wanted out, but I didn't. I need some of those. Um, that's the ground. I need some of those. I'm not even drunk, and I'm, like, throwing shit everywhere. What is going on here? The thing I want is not in here. I want those, like, this week stickers. Where are they? Hold on. Hold, please. I'm just doing some digging. That's not what I want. One of these binders is what I want. Not you. No. Not you. So not those two binders. Maybe one of these two binders is what I want. Love it. Yep, that's the one I want. It's what I want. I said remember that. Loving. How was Cats? Oh, we talked about this last week. I don't know if I want to go there again. Oh. How was Cats? How was Cats? Jesse, how will we have Jesse tell you how Cats was? Jesse. How was Cats? It was an experience unlike anything I've had before. Hey. How's that? It was fucking weird, man. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if somebody slipped me drugs or what before then, but it was... Wasn't me. It was bizarre. It was enjoyable, though. We laughed a lot. We did laugh a lot. It was worth it for the hilarity. Ironically... All of the scenes that were so funny, I'll say this much about cats. All of the scenes that were so funny, I'm 90% certain were not intended to be funny. I don't think there was any <laughs> intended comedy. I don't think there was any intended comedy in cats, but it was goddamn hilarious. So let's just put it that Very way. Very enjoyable. Two claws up. Yeah, Idris Elba was not sexy, and that made me sad. And they managed to use CGI to, like, remove his sexiness. Yeah, like, that makes me so sad, because Idris Elba is my boyfriend, and I decided he and I needed, like, a short break from each other after watching Cats. All right. Okay, so I got this this week, this this week. All right. Now, last week I did the priorities here in the bottom, and this week I think I want to do them up here. So this will be my, like, priorities for the week. I need to like, I say, I'm saying like a lot. I apologize for that. Like, like, like. I need to like, 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 like for sure. Like a valley girl. Like, 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 like. Meow, meow. Hi, Loki. I want to go to the gym too, but I don't know what days I'm going to the gym yet. And I'm going to use these little sneaker things for them that I have from when Kat was doing track. But that lasted for like a, a spring and I bought stickers for it. By the time the stickers got here, Kat was done with track for the most part. So um, <laughs> isn't that just the way things go? Tripping balls, my dudes. Tripping yeah, balls. That's a new voice. Why are you being so hateful? If you're good at something, never do it. What did I do to you? <laughs> what didn't I do to you? Ooh. Oh, hi, Mark. This is not an interesting question. <laughs> <sighs> oh, I'm looking to see if I've got something. I want to use some of these this podcasts. Is, dry, by the way. is he? Oh, my God, you guys. Oh, my God. So, right before the plan with me started, I went to the bathroom. Ooh, I needed one of those. I was wondering where these were. Hold on. Hold, oh, please. That's going there. So, right before, right before the uh, plan with me started, I I was going to the bathroom. I was going to pee, right? We all do it. It's a thing. And um and I stood up and before I could flush the toilet, Lucy, who has the zoomies right now, 
comes running in like a bat out of hell. Like running full, full speed forward. Do you know that Lucy is your cat? Yeah, Lucy, my kitty Lucy. <laughs> my kitty Lucy runs full speed ahead. Yeah, so hi, Mark is from the room. Um, and Lucy, and he leaps forward. And instead of landing on the side, like on the, the edge of the toilet bowl, he goes face first and front paws first into the toilet bowl where my pee still is because I haven't flushed it yet. And I was like, and they heard me from the living room. And I was like, oh my God, Lucy, you're nasty. Like, <laughs> so I grab him out of the pee, flush the toilet, throw the toilet lid down, turn on the sink and shove Lucy's face and paws underneath it. He's all squirming. I'm like, no, I'm going to wash you. You're nasty pee pee kitty. And like, <laughs> And so he, I finally put him down and he goes to like start cleaning himself and he's like licking his arm. And I'm like, yeah, you clean yourself, kitty. You're, that's nasty. You covered in pee-pee, little boy. Like, <laughs> I was so grossed out. Oh my God. Not the business. Not the business. Is he underneath me right now? I feel like I keep stepping on him. Loki's under your desk. Oh. Lucy's. I'm stepping on awe, kitty. I'm not finding the stickers that I want right now. This is bothering me. This is like a live stream of me looking through all of my sticker books. <sighs> maybe. Maybe. Are there enough of these? Maybe. No, there's not. Mother Fiucker. I tend to use the same colors over and over again. That's probably my own goddamn fault. <sighs> nope. Nope, nope. Okay, well, I'm just gonna put the priorities here and that's gonna be how it is. Okay. But before I do, I'm gonna remember this sticker. So I'm doing my tracking the gym over here right now, I think, and so this giant choo-choo motherfucker that Kristen made me is meant to go and cover up a bunch of the months I'm not using in this planner for that. Ah, oh God. This is way too much pressure to put a sticker this size down. Of the sticker of this caliber. It's too big. That's what she said. Because it's true. It can be. Oh, fuck. Fuck my life. Uh, it can be too big. You know, now when somebody says it's a good size, then that usually means it's small. But I would be, I would say from personal experience that there is. There is the difference between being like, there's like a difference between being a certain size and being too big where it's actually uncomfortable. And I actually have been in that position before. And I will tell you, it is not pleasant. It's not about the size, it's about the shape. What are you giving me that look for? I'm, I'm trying to just actually more fascinated by what the fuck you're trying to do with this like sticker thing. I'm going trying on to put down planner. smoothly. You're not that. <laughs> okay. Choo choo motherfucker. Was that a mall rats quote? Uh, not quite there, but you know, I have however done it in an uncomfortable place like the back of a Volkswagen before. Let's just say that. <laughs> so it's going to be my gym my gym times, and I did go yesterday, so I need to put that in here. Whoops. How is this plan with me more epic than any boozy plan with me? I don't know, maybe it's because my family's around and I'm yelling at them. The boozy one's off and I'm by myself and nobody else is home, so I'm not embarrassed. I don't know what I'm gonna write here yet, but it's gonna be something about going to the gym. Do I still do watercolors? Yes. Yes, I do. Okay. That was scary. Okay, moving forward. That was scary for so many reasons. Okay. <laughs> All right. I need to reset my Google, I think, because this is not happening. There we go. No, it's not. What the actual Did fuck? Did you try reloading the page? Yes, I tried reloading the page. I'm not fucking... Don't mansplain me. Okay, boomer. Okay. <laughs> okay. Try opening it in a new tab. No, I'm not worried about it. As long as people can see it, I'm fine. Hey, don't touch my shit. I'm watching the comments. Ah! No! Loud! Okay. 
fixed it, though. <laughs> <laughs> you can close that tab and okay. save a lot of memory. All right, there, you go. there we go. Okay. No, I'm not a boomer. I'm, I'm like in the middle of Generation X and the Millennials. I was born in 1980. The kids okay boomer me all the time. <laughs> Like, my parents were barely boomers. <laughs> how much how much power sheet content do I transfer? Um, the things I'm going to do. You are cackling. Sorry, I'm amusing. Why don't you take the rest of this wine? I don't want it. I'm sorry. I really, my I don't want to make my stomach upset. Okay. I'm thankful. Uh, yeah. I'm drinking, I'm drinking ginger ale because it's keeping my stomach on the regular. It's not been happy this week. I'm sorry that you're not being regular this week. Um... <laughs> the generation is called Oregon Trail. I've heard that too. Or the Xennials. That's another one I've heard. It's like those like five pe those five years in between Generation X and Millennials. That's where I fall like smack in the middle of. Um. All right. Here we go. Monday. The kids have a doctor's appointment on Monday. Yes. I told you that before I left the house. They have a doctor's appointment. Ah. And then um, the other priority tomorrow, I have a patron post that needs to go up, but the other priority tomorrow is that I have some postcards I have to finish. They're, um, they are, um, um, why am I brain farting? They're, um, uh, having like major trouble right now and I'm not drunk. They are for a movie that's happening on Friday. They're like um, information gathering postcards for people for a community organizing. And I, because I know how to actually use InDesign, I am the one who is in charge of actually doing the, you know, the, the design of them. I'm not like spending too much time on it, but I'm, I'm doing it. So am I going to make some watercolor videos in the future? I plan on it. I don't know when, but I do plan on it. <laughs> it's on my list. Let's put it that way. Although, now I'm all paranoid because of the whole COPPA thing, and I've seen all these art channels, like, losing their shit about whether or not they're going to get, like, in trouble. So, it's not a sick day, but I'm going to use the meds to... No, I'm not going to use the meds. It's not a sick day. It's a... It's a they are going to be mad at me, though. Maybe I should use an angry... Do I have an angry emoji? They're not going to be happy because I'm pretty sure Kat has a um, vaccination. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Booster. And Kat does not like getting shots at all. Kat is not a fan. So I'm going to use this one flipping off right here. This flipping off one to represent my kid who is not going to be thrilled at the doctor's appointment on Monday. There we go. Look at that. I don't know what's happening in the comments. I look down and suddenly there's a bunch of things happening and I don't know what they are. Have I even planned? No, Romy, I've been hunting through my stickers. Am I still doing stuff with my quartet? We are on hiatus right now. Um, K plus R. And then the other thing I have is the postcard thing. Postcard thing. Where do I get these little sticker folders? These are from, I got these from Walgreens. They were like a couple bucks. Anywhere, like any drugstore probably has them, especially if they have one of those like uh, photo centers you know like all of us boomers <laughs> we uh we go and get our pictures developed at the photo place with our old school cameras <laughs> um common ground postcards that's the name of the community organizing group i seem to get the draft sent to them all right now i'm trying to figure out what's going on in the comments Oh, for people who are wondering about the... Yeah, they're like a little photo album. Um, the COPPA thing about the Made for Kids, 
because YouTube got fined by the FTC, the way that they're enforcing some of the shit, like to try and like not get in trouble, they are asking YouTubers to label their content if it was made for kids or not made for kids. But then there's also going to be AI going around and deciding what they think is kid, like friendly content. And YouTube's AI is like notorious for false positives. So a lot of channels like that could be considered kid adjacent, like toy channels or uh, like the, the Monster High doll painting community. That's one of the big ones that's really into the like problem, worried about this. Um, art channels in general. You'll notice with some art YouTubers that they'll put disclaimers now at the front of their videos saying this is not meant for little kids under 13. I know gamers are worried about it. Like whether it shakes out or not, the worry is that YouTube tends to swing really hard in the other direction whenever they get in trouble. And so worrying about like whether or not that's what the FTC wanted, worrying about YouTube's overreaction to things is what a lot of people are doing right now. I'm just going to have to swear a lot. Now, if you market yourself, they can still ding you if they think you're lying. Um, Sarah, you asked Quartet. Um, I sang in a group for my church and I would they call ourselves the Four Altas, but I was usually on soprano too. Because I have a, um, it's like an all women quartet. Because I have a pretty good upper range, and we were all altos. Um, the other thing I have to do is my patron post that day, and then other than that, I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow yet because my kids are going to be here, and whenever I schedule myself with a lot of work for a day, my kids are going to be here. It's a crapshoot as to whether or not I actually get the work done. So, I don't know. I do need to film, though. I have to film. Maybe I'll use one of these filmy stickers. Do I want to? Which one do I want to use? I need a box. I need a half box. This is hard. I haven't planned like this in forever, and I don't have a full kit to, like, fucks with. If you're a four kids channel, they'll still be able to put ads on, but they won't be able to serve targeted ads. Targeted ads are where the money is. If you are not serving targeted ads, then... You, uh, and I mean, I don't make a lot of money from YouTube ads. Like there are people with similar subscriber counts, similar view counts who make twice, three times as much money as I do. I don't make as much money because I don't turn on mid roll ads. Like the ads that pop up mid, mid video. I don't turn those on because I think they suck. So I'm leaving a lot of money on the table there. But in general, people who, who have, um, why am I spacing out so hard? I'm just like losing my shit, you guys. Um, people who have... Uh, people who have marked for kids, they can still run ads, but they won't be able to run the really lucrative ads that that are from targeted ads because they're not, by law, allowed to run targeted ads at children. Thank you for the super chat, Sarah. I'm glad you caught the live. Put this guy here. For my patron stuff. Now, this is for filming. Patron stuff will go beneath it. Anyway, so... They'll still have ads, but they won't have comments. They won't have targeted ads. They won't have the community tab. They'll have a bunch of things turned off. And once you don't have targeted ads, your money goes down. And once you don't have all these other things, you won't be able to show up and search the same way. So even if you still are able to get money from your shit, your views and everything else are going to go down. And the amount of money you get for the ads are going to go down. And so the whole thing just turns into some some bullshit. And there are some channels who I think deserve it. There are some channels who blatantly are marketing to kids the way they're not supposed to. But then there's plenty of other channels who aren't. And so it's a scary thing. Um, film. Film for next Monday. I'm not even sure what it's going to be yet. I have a couple of ideas, but I'm not sure yet. So hopefully I'll know then. And then underneath that, I'll put for my patron post. Post. My patron post. That's fun to say. I'm going to say it again. Post. Meow, 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 meow. Do you get any information about Super Chats from YouTube? Um, there is information about how much they take and everything else. It doesn't happen when I get the Super Chat. It's a small amount. I don't remember what it is, though. I could go look, but I haven't. Like, <laughs> to be perfectly honest, I am much less invested in figuring that out than I should be probably because I am such a squirrel 
that like I'm not good at keeping my focus on any one given thing and until something's like right in my face for me to figure it out I'm like oh, oh whatever like you know <laughs> is that bad <laughs> maybe all right I'm gonna take this little situation here and put it right on top of that rose gold and that's gonna be for my patron post But as for the rest of Monday, the rest of this space, I'm going to leave it blank because I don't know what's actually happening tomorrow yet. I have not decided. So we're going to leave that la. <sighs> Will you get notifications if you do get ding does for kids? No. As far as I know. Why did I not get the hourly? I don't know. I was super into the idea of the vertical. I just, I went with my gut. I went with my gut instinct. Um, where my list go? Tuesday. Tuesday. This week is not really a super like planny week either because my kids and my husband are going to be home on these two days. Jesse's going to be home. So like the chances of me getting a lot of work done this week are low. Not because I'm not going to be working, but because it's hard for me to work when the house has people in it. I like having the quiet. Um... Jesse is off. I should put that in here too. Whoops. I need another washi tape. I put that on the family calendar. I know you did, but I'm going to also put it in this planner. But I appreciate you for doing that. Thank you. Thank you for being such a good boy. You'll get your prize later. Ooh. Don't threaten me with a good time. I'll put that right here with some washi tape. Does people help um, having premium help you or hurt you? Uh, help, I suppose. Like it's like if I get demonetized, which I do from time to time because of my language, my salty language, um, I still get premium ad revenue. So that does help. I like having premium. I like it because I don't like seeing ads and I don't. And actually the whole reason I got it was because I wanted to download I wanted to download. I was flying somewhere and I wanted to download a video to watch on the plane because I didn't think I was going to have the Wi-Fi. And when I discovered the feature that when you have YouTube Premium, you can keep listening to a YouTube video even if you go and do something in a different app. And I didn't realize that was possible. When that, the first time I noticed that, I was like, oh. So, um, so that was, that was mind boggling. That's actually my favorite thing besides the no ads. The, my favorite thing about YouTube premium is very specifically the uh, ability to like have it on in the background when I do something else on my, my phone. So just saying, and it's not an ad. It's not sponsored by YouTube premium. I'm just, I'm just letting you know that that's my favorite feature of it off. Jesse off. Cause he's off those days. The kids are off all week, but Jesse's off those days. Okay, so Jesse is off, and then Tuesday, I don't, the only pride, there, the, oh, what the fuck day is that supposed to be? Wait, is that wrong? I thought that was Wednesday. That's Wednesday. Why did I write that on Tuesday? The only priority I have so far for Tuesday is that I need to send the book club email. Other than that, I have nothing. Jesse's off. They're going to be building RJ's computer. I'm going to need to get work done that day, but I'm still not sure what, so I'm probably just going to wait until... Monday when I can start really deciding what I want to prioritize this week. Like I'm super not sure what I'm actually going to be doing this week. Like I have work to do and I'll have to look at my power sheets. Maybe I'll do that right now. But I also, um, what was I looking for? I was looking for the, the email. Maybe I'll use a Steve on the computer. Let's do that. Little computer Steve. I love him. He's so cute. Oh yeah, Steve's good. Computer Steve, we'll put him right here. We'll leave some room on the top for a different priority when I figure that one out. Have I decided incorporating days off in my planner? Um, I'm actually treating Saturdays as my day off, except for the book club, but 
which I guess makes it not a day off, but it's making, it's the closest thing I have to a day off right now. So I'm kind of doing that. I haven't decided yet. This is playing ahead for the upcoming week. Anyone have tips on reviewing the week that is ending? I'd love those tips too, because that's one thing I want to do today is a weekly review, and I haven't quite figured that out yet. I guess maybe we could work on that together as soon as I'm done with this, because this is going to be pretty bare, although I gave myself two hours to do this. So, uh, Cassandra, send me an email at cindy at cindyguntherbaldo.com, and... With, and I will check to see if you're in there. And if you're not in there, then I will add you. And then you shouldn't have to worry about it. Deb's got the Jesse spelling right. All right. Book club email. And then Jesse is building RJ's computer. I'm probably... RJ I, is building RJ's RJ is computer. building RJ's computer. Jesse is supervising. Um, the crock pot. I need to put that's the other priority on Tuesday. What time does the crock pot have to start? It's an eight hours crock pot thing. So if we're going to eat at like 630 and we have to make the tacos up, the crock pot should start at 10, 10 a.m. Okay, I'm doing math in my head. I'm doing crock pot math. Crock pot math. Math of the crock pot. No, it's not too late to join book club. You can absolutely join if you want to. If you don't want to, you can join too. But I mean, why would you if you don't want to? Like, <laughs> <laughs> la 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 la. These are little tiny crock pots. These are little icons. When I ordered these, I didn't realize how small they were. It's pretty cool. All I'm using is blue because I don't have an. Oh, there's a gray. I found a gray. We're cool. Gray will work. Oh my god, these are so little. What is those tweezers? Oh my god, I need something to put it on. That's so miniature. I'm gonna not see that. Hold on. Hold oh, please. Here we go. This guy right here. We'll put him right here. Oh, that's too tall. Hold on. I'm going to snip you. I'm going to give you a little snippy snip. There's too much going on here with my various items. I'm sorry I'm shaking the camera. I'm having trouble here trying to be a civilized business person. Okay. Because, you know, civilized, that's my camera again. Civilized business people totally throw stickers down in their planner. I bet they do. They just don't talk about it. Or they do talk about it. There's no shame in the planner game. Except for all the shame people like to throw at you. But that is a different story. Okay. Crockpot um, set, set at 10 a.m. is what I said, right? Yep. Okay. 10 a.m. Um, join book club. There's an email newsletter in the comments and the Facebook group is where we do the live streams. Um, if you don't want my book club emails to go to spam, then you can, uh, put my email address that one I just threw in the chat in your contacts and I won't spam you, I promise. But if you put in your contacts, they won't go to spam. Okay. So those are my priorities for Tuesday. I need to put the gym on here. I kind of want to put it every day. I kind of want to go every weekday except for Thursday because Thursday we're going to Japantown. So I think I'm going to do that. And... If it's a bad idea, then it's a bad idea. But it might not be a bad idea. It might be a good idea. It might also be doing? putting in ahead of time when I think I'm going to the gym. Hey, look, there's other crock pots there. I miss those. Where is those other ones? I don't want the, the singular shoes. I want the boxes of the shoes. I want the shoe boxes. What's happening? Putting it down makes it more likely that you're going... Taylor, is your husband okay? Holy shit. Thought he was having a heart attack? Okay. So we'll put the gym down here. Right above where the blood pressure is going to go. One. I lost that page. I need it back. Excuse me. Oh, he is? He's okay? Whoo!
I'm trying to figure out if I'm just gonna write walk on here like because that's what I want to do and it should be in the morning right after I fill in my planners that's the goal I went yesterday after we went to Ikea. That was an afternoon walk and that was nice, but I was worried if I was playing with fire because like I said in the past when I've exercised in the afternoon, it has not. But again, since I'm only doing like low impact walking, maybe that's gonna save me from hating my life completely. So we'll put walk. Pronounce the L, walk, like Salmon. There's a kitty. Hi, Loki. How you doing, buddy? Hi. Where's the other kitty? Where's Lulu? Chilling on the couch. Rick. He's asleep. Do you think he finally ran off some of that pee, pee energy he had? Yeah. Some of that toilet bowl mania? He wants some love and I wasn't going to give him any because I'm like busy with other people. But you can give him love. Have him on your lap. He loves snuggling your ball sack. That's something you guys have in common. Right? I love snuggling your ball sack. I wouldn't go that far. I feel like, I feel like there's, there's too much delicateness going on to snuggle it too hard. It's like you trying to snuggle my fistula arm, you know? I would be on edge that I was going to crush something that doesn't want to be crushed. Loki has no concern about that. I Me, guess about you your balls? Than I do. About your ball sack or about my fistula arm? <laughs> he walks on both of them with impunity. I'm pretty good at deflecting him. You are. Up too hard, though. Especially off of my arm. It's like your spider sense goes off that Loki's about to, like, smush my arm. Well, see, now the only thing that really gets him moving around in bed is Lucy, and he... Because Loki spent so much time sleeping on me, I feel him growling. And that's how I know it's time to play defense. Mm. All right. Snuggly ball set conversation. Okay, so there's my walking. And now Wednesday, I know I'm not putting very much on here, but like I said, I really am not. I'm kind of like still, usually by Sunday, I have an idea of how I want to spend my work week, but I'm just being realistic with how my shit tends to go. When the kids are home, I can, just the kids are home, I can generally figure it out. But when it's the kids and Jesse, I tend to not get a lot done. And Jesse's off these two days and of course Saturday and Sunday, but then we're going to Japantown on Thursday. So it's basically Monday and Friday are the two days I can expect to get a decent amount of work done. And so it's hard for me to really think about what I'm gonna do those days yet. <sighs> All right. I think I talked about the new EC brush pens in a live question mark. I didn't really like them all that much. <laughs> I'm also, I'm watching the conversation about book club in the comments as well, but I'm not, I'm not in that thinking. I'm not, my head's not in that place right now. So I don't really have anything constructive to add at the moment. Um, I, but I wanted to acknowledge I did see it. Wednesday, we're doing Jesse's belated birthday lunch because we wanted to wait for the kids. So that's at noon that day. Yeah, Relentless Beef. And then Kat has an orthodontist appointment that afternoon, and that's when I need to pay that bill. Um, what the fuck? Where did that even... Anyway... So I, mean, I know I have a dentist munchkin in here somewhere. I know because I think they're creepy looking, but yet cute. Creepy yet cute. They're holding giant teeth. Does that mean that munchkin, these munchkins have gigantic teeth? Or does it mean that they stole teeth from a larger being and then they were holding it? It makes me think of cats. Like 
In the movie Cats, the size of the cats relative to the stuff around them kept changing. Like in one scene, they're little tiny cats, but then in another scene, they're like bigger cats, like compared to the other stuff around them. And that's how I feel about the teeth on this munchkin. Like whose giant tooth is it? Where, there we go. See this one, this giant tooth. Whose tooth is that? So, I'm sorry you had a bad day, Christy. Here, put this here. And then, so that's cat's point. Um, what time was it at? 3.30? Yeah. And then I'll put the reminder for the bill up there as well, because I won't forget to bring it with me. Money, 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 money. So, you know, paying for braces, money, 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 money. <laughs> I'm gonna use this little stripper munchkin. No, that's not right. Yes, I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use a little stripper munchkin throwing money, both because my kid's orthodontist is cute, but also because that's how I feel when I'm throwing money at him because there's so much of it. Pay, bill, beep, like that. See, look at that, hell yes, okay. Okay, and then the lunch is something else I want to put on here. And I'm going to do it down here. Why? I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know why I'm doing what I'm doing. I'm, I really don't. I'm sort of figuring this out as I go. I'm just saying. I don't really know what's happening. I don't even know where I'm going. Where am I going with life? I don't know. Do you know? Maybe. Maybe not? Question mark? There's so many binders everywhere. I don't even know what's going on and where everything is. I like writing checks. I know not everybody likes writing checks. Really? I like writing checks. That makes sense. You still have a checkbook. I do. And I use it. Often. I I've... haven't had a checkbook since before we moved to Carroll Drive. You don't have a check. You don't have a debit card for our joint account. You just rely on me to always have one. So I don't think you get to actually. It's gotten me this far. <laughs> All right. So I need to put. Is that what sticker goes good for relentless beef? What, is there like an overly full sticker? Maybe one of those like zombie stickers because that's kind of how we feel afterwards. What are the options? I have one that says cramps. <laughs> mm. I feel like there's a, well, there's one that says hashtag yummy. It's for dim sum, but there's no dim sum on that particular sticker. I don't even know why I have dim sum stickers. I've never had dim sum before, ever. I'm gonna do the hashtag yummy. That's cute. And appropriate. And appropriate. Porcupine balls? Gross. That sounds weird. I'm sure they're good, but that sounds terrible. <laughs> I skew. Okay, so our, wait, is that Tuesday? No, that's Wednesday. Wrong day. Oh, I don't know if these are the removable ones or not. Oops. Okay, maybe they are. That would be funny if we show up on Tuesday for Relentless Beef and they're like, you don't have a reservation because it was for the next day. Relentless Beef. That's not the name of the place. The place is not named Relentless Beef, but that's what we call it. Galpo, Galpo. Galpo Gaucho. All right. 
Relentless Beef sounds like the name of a metal band. Someone else says it sounds like a, a male strip club. <laughs> I agree. With both of those. Yeah. Yes. Okay, Thursday. Jesse works on Thursday. The only thing I have on my list is Japantown. And we're going to be going to Japantown basically for the day. So I'm going to get a full box sticker, which I don't actually get to use very often in, um, in my... Uh, in my um, horizontal, you have to turn them on their side, and I wouldn't do that very often. And so I'm gonna be delectable with it. I mean, I did yesterday, sure, but like, or last week, but this is gonna be the first time when it's not like a full box kit. I'm gonna just smack my lips when I lay this down to feel like I'm feeling just so perfection in this situation right here. And it doesn't fit because they don't have the headers anymore. I guess I just lost all sense of what perfection might be. Fucking damn it. It's okay. It's okay. It's cool. We'll just lay it right in the middle. We'll lay it right here. And then we'll do some, some other things to make it beautiful. We will add some of these on either side. We're gonna do that. We're gonna like really like bookmark this. We're gonna bookend this with some prettiness because it needs to be pretty. Because if it's not pretty, then did you even? Probably, but I didn't. Maybe I did. I don't like how this is looking. I'm already hating this. Why am I doing that? I'm hating this. Let's not do that. Okay. Nope. But maybe what I'll do is do this. Take this guy and put this guy underneath it. That also doesn't fit. Well, that's just symbolics. I don't even use that word because I'm not British, but I'm saying it. I'll put this guy here because it's going to be most of the day. So I want to kind of not plan too much for that day because that would suck because I would be expecting way more than I should out of myself. And I'm going to put this here right down the middle. But I'm gonna I'm gonna white it out first. Rude! Don't you know I'm live streaming? Ha! Ah, he responded. What? You think they're gonna come kick our ass? No, I want to see who's gonna. Sounds like somebody's ass is gonna be kicked. Go find out. Let me know. You tell me. I want. Okay. <laughs> Aw, oh, boo. I was so excited. I was so excited. Our neighborhood is super quiet, so when I... I'm, I was amazed, like... Yeah, like... I think that's the quietest we've ever gotten. The closest... Shut up, Jesse. The... Um, but, okay, so what was happening... <laughs> So what was happening is that there was a car and like some kind of kids like electric or gas powered bike in the parking lot at the middle school. Uh -huh. And the car was honking at the kid on the bike. Except then I knew nothing interesting was happening when the car parked in the driveway across the street and the kid rode over there too. They were just being loud at each other. Okay. That wasn't as fun as I hoped it would yeah, be. Yeah, not right. Okay. I hate like, all of this. I hate how this looks. I'm gonna peel it all up. I hope you guys are prepared for the potential that might. Did you just beep? The kid on the bike is having an awesome time. How many more do I have to walk? 150 more steps to win the hour. I can, okay, I'm gonna stand up and get my steps while I'm fixing this. <laughs> I want, I like, I get external motivation. If my Fitbit tells me I'm doing a good job, I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna stand up, I'm standing up. You just can't see it because you're not looking at my feet. This is not that kind of channel. We're not doing foot fetish here, but I'm gonna make some steps. While I, are is that, I guess those are really steps. I'm stepping one, two, I'm stepping, but I'm also peeling. Oh God, this oh. is like a terrible idea. I'm stepping, I'm stepping. 
Planner community, I cringe along with you. <sighs> God, that looked like shit. I didn't like that. Step bean step. Is it working? How many steps am I getting? 151. I only got seven steps out of that? Oh! Oh, man. It's almost like you might have to actually walk in order for your fitness tracker to... Why don't you shut steps. your goddamn mouth? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to scrape some of this white out up now. Scrapey, scrapey. I'm also stepping. <laughs> this isn't working. This white out is like really robust. I mean, just... No, I am not going to fucking cheat. You're not going to cheat, but you're like stomping in place right now. That's beautiful. You are beautiful. Okay, I'm going to unplug this and I'm going to walk with it for a second. We're taking a walk. Interlude. Okay, you guys can see me now. Here, Taking my steps. I'm waiting for it to buzz. I'm going in the kitchen. We're going oh. around the house. <laughs> <laughs> there's a kitty. Oh, oh that's my chin. The internet can see there's me, my feet. So. I'm stepping and there's a Loki. Hi, Loki. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Swing your arms. I have the phone. Uh. <laughs> non Fitbit arm. Okay. It's on my right hand because I can't wear a watch on my. Um, on my left because of my fistula. Oh, I'm walking, walking. Come on, buzz it. Ow! Oh! What did you even walk into? I whacked my hand on the, the, the cart next to the oven. Oh, fuck, that hurt. God damn it. Ow! It was this thing. That's the thing right here. This is where I just balked my hand. Ow, fuck, it's gonna bruise. Okay. <laughs> Walking is low impact until I whack on things. <laughs> I haven't even scrunched my hair out yet. It's still crispy. Maybe I could scrunch it. I wonder how many steps I get when I scrunch my hair. No, I'm not drunk. I had two sips of that wine and I didn't like yeah, it. Yeah, I know. I had the rest of that wine. But I look like fucking Weird Al. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Live plan with me. I'm getting my steps. I didn't update. Ah! You love me, but you're questioning your choice about watching me walk around for entertainment. You know this is entertaining because you never know when I'm going to bonk into something. <sighs> okay, I'm going to go sit down. I think I should have gotten enough steps. It hasn't buzzed yet. Yup, it just buzzed. Woohoo! Oh, here, let me show you. See? Easy peasy. Okay. <laughs> and look, now it's Inception. Woo, spooky. Okay. Nice. See, it was an interlude. It was a stepping interlude. <laughs> ah, ow, that fucking hurt. Okay. <sighs> okay. <sighs> God, that whiteout looks shitty. Okay, I think I can cover some of it up. No, I'm not going to cover some of it up. Maybe I should just leave it there as like a reminder to not try and get so fucking... Jank. Well, we're doing it for Kat's birthday. Maybe I can use some of these birthday celebration stickers to cover it up. Happy birthday. Lisa, it's your birthday. Happy birthday, Lisa. Because this is for Kat's birthday, so. No, that was from The Simpsons. My mom's name was Lisa. We used to sing that Simpsons birthday song at her. I'm so pleased to hear that. Oh, I'm sorry if you got your three-year-old to say that. <sighs> okay. Okay. Happy birthday, celebrate. So we're going to Japantown, me and the kids, and then... We're gonna get sushi, sushi, or like Sean Connery. We're going to get sushi while we're there. Jesse is not going with us though because he will be at work. Like a sucker. Like a sucker. We're living a sucker free lifestyle in this house.
Will you get the crock pot for me the next time you go out in the garage? Already brought it in. Really? Thank you. See? Cynthia? I'm looking at my hand lettering. Ah, that's a nice power stance you're taking with the crock pot. I've been nice. practicing. Thank you for noticing. For when you play guitar? And also when I bring down the crock pot. When you bring down the crock pot? The kids are playing video games together right now, and they haven't been fighting, and I probably just jinxed it, but oh my God, it is glorious. Can I just say? How does Jesse like the new guitar? Jesse, how do you like your new guitar? He just made like a sexy sound in the bedroom, so he likes it. Okay. Loki, are you okay there, buddy? You okay? Oh, there's probably a cat outside. That's a cat outside. That's a cat outside sound that Loki makes. He makes it when one of the neighbor cats are in the front yard. Um, do I have anything else on that list for Thursday? No. So I'm leaving Thursday alone for the most part because it's going to be, we're going to be busy all day. Okay. Yeah. Loki's super chatty. Lucy has started getting chatty, but um, Loki is like, Yes, the little the little plus is for and. Um, Friday is a day I, might, I have a bunch of work stuff on it because I'm expecting to be able to work. I have, to, I have some podcasts I need to record and I have a patron live that day at 2 p.m. So I'm going to put those in the priorities. Oh, the kids getting along? Yeah, they're, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to jinx that. They're um, playing video games very nicely together right now. They it's are cute. playing Stardew Valley. Stardew Valley on the Nintendo Switch. So we'll put this little podcast Steve here. And then I also need a one for a live. <sighs> I'm sleepy. It takes a lot of energy to walk 150 steps and whack your hand. Look, it's turning red. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that or not. I can see that. <clears throat> you have a kitty. Did you hear him like yowling? Or like Ooh. making his like wow, wow, Loki. Oh. I think that there was a um, another cat outside. Oh. So. I'm Florence? Just, probably Florence, yeah. We have a couple of neighbor cats that are indoor outdoor cats. I think they're mostly outdoor cats. And one of them is named Florence and loves to hang out in our, Florence loves to hang out in our yard. And Loki always gets all like irritable whenever Florence is out there. I might be partly responsible for that. Florence likes me and so, so yep. she head bumps me and pets me, lets me, bleh, lets me pet her. And then Loki's then. like, that's my man. <laughs> well, no, but she just hangs out here. Your cat never talked until she had a sister to complain about, Lisa. <laughs> Funny thing, Loki talks a little bit less. He started talking more again, but when Lucy first got here, I think Loki was so mad at us that he just stopped talking to us well, for a while. No, I disagree. He was Every mad. time Loki would talk, Lucy would know where he was and would get all up in his business. And now he still does, but Loki is comfortable enough to bat, hiss, and growl at him. Until yeah. he leaves him alone. What's funny, though, is, mm. like, Loki makes all the angry cat sounds, but the whole time his ears are, like, pointed forward. He's yeah. really not threatened by the kitten. He's just annoyed. Yeah. It's like watching the kids fight. It is. Loki is very much my kid cat energy. Yeah. And, and, and Lucy's Lucy, very much RJ energy. It's we've had the conversation about like Loki is kind of like like I'm his human. Like he sleeps on me, he sleeps on my hoodie, whatever. Yeah. Lucy has yeah. bonded to Loki. I'm use that little heart sticker for my patron live. Which is adorable, it but is adorable. sad in the same time. Wait, about my patrons or about the no, cats? No, no, no. That Lucy has bonded to Loki because He bothers him, so. Yeah, Lucy, like, I think Loki is super attached to Jesse and I, and Lucy is super attached to Loki. Oh, 
Okay. Um, so there are my two priorities on Friday. Then I also have that evening I'm going, I'm going to put it down here. I have a film I'm going to go see. It's about the homelessness crisis in California. It's a film about how the homelessness crisis, I can't even say it, homelessness crisis came into being. And there's going to be like discussion afterwards and it's being hosted by the community organizing group our church is a part of. And so I'm going to go to that. And Jesse was supposed to go with me, but now he's punking out. Yeah, you don't have anything to say now, do you? Now that I'm right. No, not a damn thing. Not a damn thing. That's what I thought. Christina, you're super right. But Loki is a very, very chatty cat. So we're obviously very dumb humans. <laughs> Jesse's like and the it's fucking... Not, it's not related to, to Lucy. He's always been super chatty. That is kind of his most interesting trait. Yeah, Loki's very chatty. He's always been a very chatty boy. And Jesse's like the cat whisperer. He can like read cat body language so well. I, on the other hand, cannot. No, Nor you do just I don't do. understand where any creature's boundaries are. <laughs> I laugh. It's not specific it's true. to cats. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not good with other people's physical boundaries. <laughs> All right. So what am I going to put on top of that? I need to add like a signifier for that. Some religious situation, but I'm a UU, so there's no such thing as stickers from my church. <laughs> shrug, shrug. I could put a weed sticker down. That could be funny for church. No, not with this group. Ooh, there's eggplants. I should put one of those in. You're welcome, Jesse. What do I want? I don't know what I want. I don't know what I want. I don't know what I want. Don't Classic. know what I want. Well, there's a delicious looking coffee thing there. I'm not going to be drinking coffee at six o'clock at night. Oh. Hmm. Maybe I'll put this grateful sticker down as cheese ball as it is, because I would imagine that going to see a film and then doing a bunch of discussion about the homelessness crisis in California, knowing that I have a nice warm home to come back to will likely make me feel very grateful. And even if I hate, like, like shallow-ass gratitude platitudes, which is a rhyme, and I made that just for you, um, <laughs> you know, I can also admit when I have reason to be grateful. So um, I don't remember what the movie's called, though, so I'm just going to put Common Ground. That'll remind me when it is. 6 p.m. Anyway. All right. Um... Okay, Saturday. I'm really loud. Saturday. So Jesse is recording all weekend with the band. With the band. With the band. With the band. No, I'm mostly giving you a hard time about Friday. Are you going to go? I'm totally going on Friday. You better go. No, so you know that Jade had her baby, right? Uh, no. Scott's daughter, Jade. Yeah, she told me about that. So, so are you what guys... I didn't realize was that Sam was born about a month premature. Oh, I didn't know that either. Yeah, so everybody was surprised. Um, and so, so are you guys not recording this weekend? No, we're still recording, but we're going to do our setup on Saturday instead of Friday. Um, <clears throat> because Jade is going to be staying with them for about a week. Her husband is she is... going to like leave the house when you guys are playing so that the baby doesn't yeah. like... She's going to go hang out at Scott's mom's house. I was like... Grandma's house. <laughs> but, but no, her um, husband, who apparently is like a badass like vehicle operator, like cranes and stuff that only a handful of people have the required training to pilot. Mm -hmm. um, he's going to... Shoot, Scott told me and I forgot but he's leaving town for a few weeks because he has to for work. And so... Um, this is your best chance? We're... No, I mean, we had to change our plan for sure because Jade is going to stay with Scott and Jamie for a little while. But um, it's fine. Um, it, it's going to go super smooth anyway. We ran through a bunch of the gear today and everything worked well, so... Yes, uh, if you guys want to hear my husband's band play, they'll have a recording 
eventually. They're doing it this weekend. Um, okay, so I have that in there. And, uh, and then, where are we at? We are at... Uh, the book club and the book club live is going to be earlier on Saturday. It's going to be at 8 a.m. because I have a church meeting at 9 30 that I have to go to on Saturday that I did that got scheduled this last week. So and I need to be there. So it'll be at 8 a.m. and I'll update you guys in the email and everything else. But book club is going to be an 8 a.m. stream. So help me whatever gods you pray to. Um, I'm just saying. Does Jesse's band do original music? Yes, that's what yes. we're recording. Is that what you guys are doing? Any of any yeah. of your covers? No, we're recording None seven originals. We're recording seven originals. Not even the this covers that are my favorite. I mean, I have video of you like barf dancing to one of them. <laughs> barf from uh, Spaceballs. Yes, barf from Spaceballs. That's your best dance move. I love that dance move. That dance move is my jam. No, we're doing all originals this weekend. Next weekend. I haven't adjusted it yet, Deb. I'm going to do that today, as soon as I'm done here. Maybe I'll do a choo-choo motherfucker, choo-choo Steve, for the book club being early. I'm going to do a little choo-choo Steve. Choo-choo motherfucker. I'm going to put a little choo-choo. That's too dark. I'll put the little choo-choo guy. There we go. Choo-choo motherfucker. Book club. Yeah, this is like a brand new change that I heard about today. So um, I will be changing everything this week. Um, what do grandpa rockers sing about? <laughs> <laughs> and then washing sheets is the other thing on my list for Saturday on my prayer list because that's what I always have on my priority list on Saturdays because I like having a clean bed. Jesse knows this. Jesse knows that I care so very mm -hmm. deeply yep. about the state of our sheets. I, I am concerned about whether or not we are sleeping in our own filth. Hashtag priorities. Jesse's not a grandpa rocker, but there is technically a grandpa on his band now. So technically, yeah, no, our they are a grandpa rock band. Yeah, our singer's daughter had his first grandchild a couple weeks ago. So they are technically grandpa rockers now. So we're grandpa rockers, yeah. Yeah, we've been we actually were talking about this. <laughs> Jesse is thirty three. Jesse is a wee lad. I am thirty three. You're a wee lad. You are wee. This one. <sighs> um, wash sheets. You're old enough to be Jesse's mother. <laughs> My mom, I mean, I guess that doesn't, that's, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Um, that's not awkward. I know, right? And then I have my worship committee meeting that day, which is the meeting that is preempting the book club to go. It's with our minister. We're kind of changing. Jesse is very much a millennial. That one plus heart Facebook like hey, sticker. You that's are. That's a pejorative. It's not a pejorative. Millennial? No, it's not a pejorative. You don't think so? No. I think Unless it's a used differently than It's I a do. descriptive term. People who use it as a pejorative are boners. It's a descriptive term. It describes a generation. It accurately describes part of our generation. <clears throat> The, um, yes, anyway, sorry, Jess. The one heart, this sticker comes from Chrissy Ann Designs. So this is going to be for dinner with mine uncle. That's, I want a blue one. Oh, there goes the litter robot. Millennial snowflake is the pejorative. Perjur, per, pejorative. I know there's a way to pronounce that word. Fair and I'm, I'm just not actually doing it right now. The litter robot is... I like to think of us as the generation that had to find health insurance. 
I'm no, like, that's not true. Every you're the generation who got to have their parents' health insurance up until you were 26. Yeah. Welcome to my fucking generation. No, that was a super unfair statement. That me. was a very unfair statement. I feel like that is the kind of statement a millennial snowflake would make. <laughs> 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 I don't know. I only had like gig jobs until I gave up on music and worked for Trader Joe's. All right. Yeah. No, I am. Um... You're 40 in a few days, Christy. Me too. Well, not in a few days. I'm 40 in a few weeks. I turned 40. Perfect sticker to be flipping past. Well, as I'm saying this, I turned 40 on January 31st. 1980 is my birthday. Don't dox me. Okay, I'm going out to dinner with my uncle. I wonder if there's a good sticker on this one. No. You might go with us. It depends on when you Casey guys Casey Nurse, that's scary to me. What? Having no health insurance until you were 40. Maybe I'm, like, very entitled to having had my parents' health insurance, but, like... My I remember there was uh, the Trader Joe's health insurance we had was pretty good, I would say, for what it cost, what the co-pays were, yeah. and all of that. The insurance that we had at Naked initially was wretched. Was, it was the kind of health insurance that works if you never get sick and occasionally go for doctor's appointments. The insurance we have now through Naked is much, much better, and I'm very appreciative of it. I want to say dinner date. Even It's not a date. It's not like I'm going out with Uncle Rich like as a date. I'm going out with Uncle Rich to dinner because I love him because he's my uncle and I love him. Dinner date. Whether it's with Jesse or not. Hopefully. This is all. This right here is, is speculative. My uncle's going to be in one of the nearby towns and every time we try and have dinner with him when he's in town, he flakes on us 90% of the time. So we'll see if this actually happens. Uncle. That's what we call him. But I'm not going to put anything else because I don't know what time yet. What? What is that? What am I staring at? Why are you making me look at this? I'm live on YouTube. What are you doing? No, it's like everything is right except... That one right there? Yeah. Yeah, that sucks. Why would you do that? <laughs> <laughs> Tanya, Jesse has type 1 diabetes as well. So I feel we feel that pain. Is it awkward to say you work at Naked? No, not, not at all. Yeah, I was going to say, you've been doing it for so long at this point. But... Ow. Um, okay. Oh, worship can mean. That was the other thing I forgot. God damn it. Okay. Ha uh ha. -huh. Don't be so judgmental. Um, I'm your kid, though. You are. You get it Run from... Down. I learned it from watching you, Mom. <laughs> um, the... Uh, my dad had health insurance when I was a kid until he got laid off. And since then, he, when he got laid off when I was about 14, he stopped having health insurance. And then he died because he couldn't afford health insurance when he was 40, which was um, seven years later. That's really dark. I don't want that dark. I want it to be light. Ah, I ripped it. Rude. Dun, dun, dun. Da, na, 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 na. <laughs> Did you get scared by that, Mom? No. I'm not scared of anything. Except spiders. <laughs> and clowns sometimes. And the, the CGI and, and violence. cats. And violence. And you growing up and leaving me. Ha ha. <laughs> Somebody's calling out DEFCON change. That's a Amber. Good point. good point, Amber. Ripped the page. Oh, they're stolen. <laughs> you know, I find something really satisfying about pulling these nesting dolls open with such vigor and sending Russian dictators flying. <laughs> There's something about that I find immensely satisfying. Oh, hey, speaking of which, on a bunch of my friends' stories, uh, there was like memes me that were like... Mrs. Thank you. I'm listening to you. There are like things where it was like two days in and we're already seeing two days into the decade and it's already just World War Three memes. What have we done? Yeah, right. Uh, yeah. Go team. Go. It's like y'all, could we have waited a week? 
Yeah, how are you doing with that, sweetie? Is it stressing you out? Eh, not really. Okay. I still haven't really, like, just, I, like, saw it, I'm like, you dumbass, and then I was just kind of like, well, fuck. And then that's kind of the end of my thought process. Okay. Well, I mean, that sounds like a healthy, uh, sounds like a healthy reaction to it. All right. Your daughter fell while ice skating? Oh, no. I hope she's okay, Pamela. Sorry, I just glanced up. Comments are busy. I see that. Randy Rainbow. They, re they suggested you go listen to Randy Rainbow. I don't know who Randy Rainbow is. I don't know who that is either. That's a suggestion. Is it like music? I don't know. Maybe it's like a guy who talks about things named Randy. Uh, okay, so this is worship. 9.30. He's a comedian singer. Very funny, apparently. Scrolling. Hmm. There's a whole bunch going on in the comments that I didn't see. Clowns are scary. Health insurance is scary. I do fear health insurance. I fear the, the intro. I could fear losing my health insurance. That's what I fear. Grown up fear fears what? are terrifying. Okay. Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. I have a nominating committee meeting and then a hangout and another live plan with me. Aren't you excited? <laughs> what, Kat? What? Are you judging? What? Are you a judgmental judger? Are you judging McJudger face? <laughs> All right, I sucked on some water. My mouth is very dry. I'm parched. I hope she's okay, Pamela. Okay, so priorities for that day. I need to, I have the nominating committee meeting, which is a thing, and I should get a coffee mug for that nominating one. That's a coffee what? kind of sticker. What? Nominating for what? For church. Yeah. For the board. Yeah. Okay. The board and the new nominating committee. It's a circle. It's the circle of church life. <laughs> we need like a committee to... For committees? A committee to... One committee to rule them all? I think they call that the board. Um, something smells funky in the fridge. I just cleaned it out too. It's the how many, how many you use as a tick to switch a light bulb. And it lists all the committees you need to do it. Hmm. I can't say no yet. I'm, I'm, I signed up for this and it's a bylaws nominated meeting. So I have to do this for this year. But then once it's done, I can't serve another year of this term. So I'm good to go. And I've already made it. The nice part about being on the nominating committee is that I can say to the rest of the nominating committee, no, I will not be on the board this year, <laughs> which I have already done. So... <sighs> I've already said no. And then I want to get a squiggly box for my live plan with me. No, there's something that smells funky in the fridge. See if you can find it. That's in your... the inside fridge? Mm-hmm. I thought I got everything that was nasty out of the fridge, but every time you guys open it, there's like a whoosh of smell. Can't you smell that? I know it's my bionic nose doing bionic things, but like, can't you smell that? Can't you smell that? I'll see if I can find it. Thank you. Can you use In like the refrigerator? Mm -hmm. a tissue to get ink on it and then do it as like a wash? Not on this day, but maybe, but not right now. No, I'm asking if it's possible. Probably. Maybe not with that tissue, but probably. <sighs> Is being on the board mandatory? No. I would hope not. No, it is not mandatory. It, but I, I tend to, uh, vol I tend to overcommit. So <laughs> Jesse's like, that's an understatement of the year. <laughs> okay. We'll use this one. I'll do this for the patron hangout, and then I'll just letter the live plan with me. Let's do that. Let's I do don't that. See anything obvious, babe. Okay, then maybe it just needs to like some. Maybe it needs a. Maybe it needs, um. 
like a baking soda or something. I don't know. This is what happens when I'm the one who, what are you doing, cat? What in the hell are you doing? Please don't stamp my, my planner, please. I'm if you stamp my planner stamp. with a brown ink when this is my color scheme, I'm not I will gonna. disown you, okay? <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm not gonna stamp your planner. Okay, just checking. I'm gonna use this with love sticker. Okay, here we go. It's gonna go right here, because it's my patrons and I love them. So I'm gonna put with love. Hang out 1.30 p.m. And then I am going to let her live plan with me right here. So we'll go live. Are you reading the comments or are you watching me letter? I've seen you letter. <laughs> was that a kitty? No, it was a child outside. You sound the same. Am I in frame? Just making sure. We're gonna pull my power sheets out in a hot minute. So for those of you who, that is off kilter lettering. It's cool. It's cool. You tried, Cindy. You tried. 2.30. All right, why playing with me? I think those need some stripes. There's plenty in the comments going on right now about healthcare, which I am both fascinated by and also trying not to get distracted by. So I don't spell the word plan wrong because that would just be some bullshit. And Plain. it's also entirely possible if you know me. So, okay. Okay. Did you want to try different colors? There's more inks in a bag down there in that bottom drawer. Okay. So here is my week all planned. Oh, thank you for the super uh, chat, Catherine. Now I'm going to grab my power sheets and take a look in them. Uh, to see if there's any... Did you destroy my... No, not there. It's there is what I'm talking about. <laughs> All of this is your fault. I hope you know that. No, it's your fault for bad instructions. <laughs> you said drawer. Um, all right. Let's see here. I got to pull some stuff from my power sheets for the, uh, for the week. Let's see if I can fit some of these on here. So I can't... Healthcare is not a basic human right, but it should be. It's not treated as one, but it should be. Um, all right. Um, Kat is playing with this stamp. Not all stamps, just this stamp. <laughs> just January 5th, 2020. Kat is playing with January 5th, 2020. All right. So what do I want to pull from here? I do need to do this. There's a lot of things I need to do off of here. Paying quarterly taxes is actually something I need to do this week. Uh-huh. Taxes. Oh, you laugh now. I know. Okay, I'm going to put taxes here, though. I need something. Is there like a... Oh, no. I got to pay, yeah, I gotta pay taxes. quarterly taxes. But this is the last quarter for 2019. Yeah. And then I'll get to pay the next quarter, 2020. <laughs> We could consider, if you get a refund this year because you actually paid taxes ahead of time, can I don't think I'm going to get a refund. I think I'm still going to owe more taxes. Yeah, you I'm can't just saying. possibly owe as much as in the past years, though. No, I know that, but I'm still <laughs> saying that, like, that's not entirely true. There's always a possibility. No. Always. I, I, I need you to stand up. There's a sticker book that you're blocking with your junk. Which you want? No, it's uh, in here. In the drawer. Yeah. It's cool. Okay, now you can push it in. Is Kat planning on getting a job now at 16? What do you say, Kat? What do yeah. you say to that? Yeah? Yeah. I'm gonna Probably eat. the summer. Yeah, Kat has a pretty hefty school schedule right now, so 
but like the summer I'm also gonna be busy so like that also sounds like a bad time to get a job and then immediately ask for like 50 days of time off right so maybe this fall since I'm quitting band yeah you decide to do that yeah I talked to dad about it first actually okay Because, like, there are other things I'm more dedicated to, like church and choir. Yeah. Well, remember Dad said and that like you... a job. Yeah, remember Dad said that it was important that you prioritize. Mm -hmm. So... And, like, band isn't, like, giving me as much as, I, as it used to. And so, like, I don't know. I don't need to be there. Yeah. You don't need to sound... Don't mess with that one. That one's weird. Leave that one alone. Wait, what? Why? That one's weird. Leave it alone. Woody... It's hella juicy. Leave it alone. I don't want juicy ink pads open around my planner. <laughs> I'm going to use this angry, this side-eye munchkin for paying quarterly so taxes. And I'm going to actually put that on Thursday because I'll be heading out so I can drop them off at the post office. Quarterly taxes. Are we going to drop off taxes on the way to Jersey? Yes. <laughs> the face of Yeah. Well, Kat has discovered that they like choir better. So if you have to prioritize church stuff, band stuff, choir stuff, and getting a job, something's got to give, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And RJ's doing band next year. He like, keeps... I'm still going to go to games and stuff, support my friends and RJ. And, like, I'm going to go to dinner afterwards with friends. But, like, I just, especially since my friends have stopped going to, like, Applebee's with all the other band people. They've gone to somewhere else? Yeah. Because Applebee's is kind of gross. And also, like, crowded and full of band people. Yeah. All right. I think that's everything I'm going to pull off there. I do need to make a couple of notes on this week, although I will fill more of them out tomorrow when I sit and, like, really look at my bullet journal. But... I still haven't decided what I want to put there. I need to put something there. What am I going to put there? I'm going to put a birthday cake there because we are doing the celebration lunches for Jesse and for Kat this week. So there we go. A little birthday cake. Booyah, relentless beef and sushi. Relentless beef. Um, I need to finish those postcards. The budget needs to be worked on. Dun, dun, dun. Um, the notes oh, shit. for social justice. I want to start cooking dinner this year. Okay. I have it on my list. Yeah. Notes for social justice and the agenda for nominating committee. This white, this white has been abused. And I think that's all I've got off the top of my head right now. But anyway, I think this is going to be the end of my plan with me. I think it came out looking kind of pretty. But it's not really filled in yet. But that's why we do plan as you go weeks, so month, week, whatever time. So that you can see how it gets filled in. Like this is the beginning of a week. And then this is the end of a week. <laughs> so did I put a priority section? That's up at the top. I didn't put a header because I couldn't find one to use. But everything in the top box is a top priority for that day. Does that make sense? Like, that's where I'm putting the priorities, is in the top box, in this particular planner. I haven't decided how I want to do it yet. This is only my second week doing it this way, so I'm still not really sure I've found, like, my groove yet. But the blood pressure is going to go in this little tiny spot, and and the priorities are in the top box. And other than, sorry, Stalin, other than that, um, I don't know yet. <laughs> so, it's I don't know what a weekly review looks like yet either, Amber, so I have no idea. But if I come up with something, I'll let you know next week. <laughs> I'm supposed to do that today, but I'm not there yet. So anyway, you guys, I hope you had fun. Be sure to like this. Nobody has disliked it so far, which is amazing. So make sure you like I can it. fix that. Shut up, Jesse. I can fix that. Don't fix that. Like <laughs> anyway, you guys have a phenomenal rest of your day, and I will see you next time. Remember, new video tomorrow. Hasta ah. la vista, babies.